G'day guys, my name's Sickberg and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. That's right, I am a little under the weather today, but we are going to battle through nonetheless. Remember in episode one when I said this? Now, we have three rules that we have to abide by this season. Number one, we will not be using netherite. No netherite gear at all. We will be stopping at diamond gear and diamond armor. I think that netherite is too overpowered and we're going to make the game a little bit more of a challenge for us. Well, just like the other two rules that I set for myself of no flying and my gear would be gone if I died, I'm going to renege on that deal. So we are going to go and get some netherite. I'm tired of looking like a noob, right? I'm, it's okay that I am a noob. I'm just tired of looking like one. So let's go and do that whole thing. Let's get some netherite. I hate this place so much. <laughs> um, so this is the second bastion that I have found. The first one was so filled with uh, with basalt that I couldn't I couldn't get to a chest. There was no chest down the bottom. Um, this one here seems to be in a good location. It seems to be that I'm in the right place. I'm just terrified that something's going to come down and just kill me while I'm standing here. I'm trying to find about halfway along this wall and then I'm going to dig through and hopefully just get into the bottom of it. I am just going to get the netherite thing and then get out of there. So let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, that's not too, too bad. Is that a spawner? That is, there is a spawner there. What's the spawner for? It must be, uh, magma cubes or something, I guess. That's a little annoying. Let's see if I can attack this guy without aggroing everything. There you go. He doesn't even know that I'm here. That's a good thing. All right. That's where we've got to get to. That's the thing. That's where we've got to uh, get our chest down there somewhere. I'm not even going to get the gold. I'm just going to, as I said, get the netherite um, smithing template. And then I'm going to get out of here. So let me just clean these guys up. Okay, let's put a path down, because not that it's hard to jump across there, but with all those guys, the magma guys there, I feel like I'm going to get knocked in. Um, so we'll just put this down, give ourselves a nice clear path over there, and uh, and get the thing and get out of there. Which one are you? You're fine. Okay. You you guys, you magma cubes, you're just being annoying. That's all. I should have just run in straight away. You j <laughs> It's j Oh, God. It's just an annoyance. That's all you are. Now, I always, I always um, get the distance wrong for for their attacks on me and for my attacks on them. I keep forgetting that you can attack a lot further than it appears. Ow, again. Okay, these guys are just going to keep spawning, and this is just, this is just annoying. That's all it is. Ow! Stop it! Get! out of the way I just let me I want to I just want to get across to the thing I, you guys don't have to die this is the thing you guys could just live the your best life sitting here on the lava but instead you got to come and aggro onto ouch oh great now I'm in a hole nah. all right let me let me deal with these guys Okay, I think I'm in a place where I can deal with this. Let's go. Let's just... We're just going to... Are we? Yep. Yeah, we're just going to go for it. I think. Yeah. We'll just go for it. All right. Uh, be a little bit careful. I don't want to aggro that guy over there. Or the hoglin guy. Um, where is the chest? Aha! There it is. All right. I care nothing about... Oh, I'll grab the leggings and the thing. Um, that's it. Okay, we're done. Ow. Let's let's just get out of here. Let's let's go. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so we have our netherite smithing template. Now we just need to find netherite. I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, there it is there and um, yeah I'm going to head back 
towards home, which is over this way, and uh, and I'll show you how I mine for netherite. So as much fun as it is to blow up half of the nether with TNT, I liked. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That was that was uh, fortuitous. Um, yeah. So I like to just create a little two by two. Uh, mining shaft sort of thing and just go down and I head down one way right next to the border of a chunk I don't know if that's still a thing it used to be a thing um, that on the chunk borders it, it um, you got more of it but I just head down here and then until I hit lava or something else and then I'll go two blocks to the right and then come back the other way so yeah let's just keep doing this and generally, I won't leave quartz. I will... Oh, there's another one. Yay. All right. Awesome. And always go around the netherite. Like, always always check the blocks around because there you go. See? Often there's one, an extra one. I'm going to leave that until I go back the other way. Eh. Um, yeah, and I keep netherite in my in my offhand so that I can just place it down and that's all good. But yeah, I don't, I don't generally leave quartz because quartz refreshes you. Um your pickaxe so so then you don't run out of uh, I don't want to go that way oh I'm making a mess of this um, yeah the XP from the courts is is all you need to keep everything going strong and the reason I go every two blocks like this is because then you don't miss any on this level and I find I find Y13 better because you don't end up with all those lava pools above your head so yeah um, yeah, so this is how I do it. I'm just going to keep on doing this until I've got enough to do all my gear. And that is it. That is everything. Everything is netherite now. That's awesome. Uh, now I will need you guys' help on this. Uh, what trimmings should I use? What what colors and what trimmings do you like? Um, I yeah, I don't really know them. I, I just put on whatever. So <laughs> I've got I've got a heap of them. So just let me know in the comments and uh, and I'll yeah I'll try and fulfill that. Okay, here we are with shaders on. You know what that means? I'm about to show you something that doesn't look as good with shaders off. <laughs> uh, let's head up here. This is the build that I've done this week. And I have, I've done more of the river here, like I brought that down to the, down to the lake there. And uh, yeah, I think that looks really good. I, let's go over here and I also built a little custom tree. It sort of felt like it needed it with the path going the way that it does over here. And this is the house. This is this is what I've done. I've gone heavy on detail because the house is fairly ordinary. Um, the the water wheel that's there, I, I really like the way that turned out. And it's sort of, you know, it's in the water as it should be and it would be in a fast running part of the river. Um, yeah, I like the way that it sticks out. I like the, the shape of it. And I kept it fairly simple. I didn't try and go overboard with, with the shape of it or anything. But um, yeah, I think it looks good. This little bridge up over here, it's a little bit thin. I might I might do something with that. Also, I can't see over it like that. Um, so let's head up here and have a look. I'll go into free cam, I think, and have a look. Yeah, so that's that's the basic house. Um, there's nothing nothing overly fancy about it. I do like the way that it came out. I like doing these little um, awning sort of things on the on the roof, the little jutty outy bits. Uh, 
and I used a little bit like I used the the trapdoors. I do like the copper trapdoors. Um, I think it's just one of those things though where you you're using the new blocks. Unfortunately, the tough ones just don't look right to me. Um, now interiors, okay. You, you, so this this place is tiny on the inside. I didn't think at all about inter interiors when I was building it from the outside. And uh, yeah, so I've got this tiny little space. Uh, we need to come up with a verdict on when are interiors done, right? So I've got you know, a rug, I've got the table and chairs, another rug, I've got a bookcase there. Um, I've got some paintings on the wall. Um, I will just stick a torch over there because I don't know if that is lit up enough. Um, yeah, I've got the smelters over there and some furnaces and things. Nothing down here. But yeah, so how many pieces of interior make it an interior? And am I cheating by just throwing things down? I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I thought going for different levels here on the house. So, so having sort of the front bit sort of down down a level and the rest of the house up a level looked really good and this river this is the river that comes down from a potential peak so it comes all the way up here and comes from the ice up here so that's where that goes and yeah i like i like that sort of thing um of bringing in some actual like physics into the game the the, the idea that that's melted and coming down um yeah, I think that's about it for this week. I'm sorry. I, how good are these ominous bottles? Like, like it is the best thing to come into this expansion or this this um, update. I, I love it that I can kill those guys without having to worry about getting bad omen. It's fantastic. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Again, I apologize for my voice during this one. Uh, and for it's a very short one, but I've, I'm just not feeling up to it at the moment. So... Um, have a great week. I will see you next week. We have Craftworks Season 2 coming very, very, very soon, and I'm excited about it. Have a good week, guys. I love you all to death, and bye.